Hi, this is Luana Lacone Winner, and before we get started on this painting, I'm going to use a little gloves in a bottle to protect my hands from the oil and um, products that we'll be using here in the studio. Just need a little pea-sized bit, rub it well in, and so, let's go. Hi, I'm Luana Lacone Winner, and this is a free art lesson about head proportions. You know that I'm a portrait painter based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Go see my website, and you can see some of the things I'm working on now. In the meantime, we're going to talk about proportions of the head, the adult head, and how to measure for the different parts and pieces that fit within that head. I often see people having problems with the profile view of the head, so let's talk about that a bit. If you were to take a square, I'm going to freehand it so it may not be a perfect square, but if we were to take a square and divide it in half and divide each of these areas again in half, we can start using this as to create the skull facing this way, facing in this direction the skull would fit, the back of the skull would fit into this part of the square. The front forehead area would fit sloping downward to this point. What's unusual is that the eye sits a whole quarter of the square back from this mark. Here, where the head dips in a bit, right here at the bridge of the nose, the skull stops at that point, right there. Now, this drops down. The teeth appear in this area, and then the chin fits here. This jaw bone is referred to as a mandible. The zygomatic bone fits right here. That's the cheekbone that we see so prominently on some people. Now, looking at the face forward, the head, you can see the eyes, you've probably seen this before, that the eyes sit halfway down the head, the nose sits in that position, halfway down from that, and the mouth sits there. So if we were to add a little bit of paint to this, it might look something like this. Let's take a little shadow area the neck comes all the way down to that center mark on that square. Okay? Let's add a nose and a mouth and the neck again to the front. Make sure that this has enough space, enough depth and width because the head weighs about 16 pounds and a lot of times I see these little popsicle heads in paintings and it's not doing you any justice to your painting. All right, so let's do this. We'll put in some flesh in this area. We can put in a nice jawline, lips not too red but just a tone redder than what we had. Nostril, wing of the nose. Let's get that eye in there. And as we start adding this bit by bit, it starts looking a little more humanoid. We start understanding where everything fits. The ear fits fully back to that center line. We can warm this up a bit. Give them a little bit of blue eyes, maybe.
Now, if you keep these proportions in mind for your head in profile, you'll find that the, that the head will be much more realistic and much more accurate as you work. Come back. We'll have another free art lesson for you again later.